Ginny, you ready for a little more dosing this afternoon? Maybe. Okay, maybe. All I do is sleep. Ginny has been on the steroid for a week now, and the lymph node on her neck that was swollen has gone back down. So that feels normal. And I can only assume that the other lymph nodes that the oncologist felt on Ginny's body that were also swollen have gotten better too. We should go curl. I snuggle and cuddle with Ginny all the time, but I'm constantly feeling for little bumps on her now, but I haven't been able to feel anything. Ginny is also on day three of being treated with cannabis oils. Ginny gets a little bit of THC in the morning, the sativa strain, with a little CBD oil, and that's supposed to make her feel peppy and energized. I have your afternoon CBD dose. Then in the afternoon, she gets more of the CBD oil, and then in the evening, she gets THC again, the indica strain. Ginny, it's time for your afternoon oils. You ready for your afternoon cannabis oil? I didn't want her to get loopy, so we're starting really, really small. You want it? And going to be building up and up and up every three to four days until we can start introducing in the FICO. FICO stands for full, ah, full extract cannabis oil it's really, really strong. And Ginny's dosing expert told me to literally just begin her on like a pencil dot. What a good girl. So the only side effects of the cannabis oils that I've noticed thus far with Ginny is that they've made her lethargic. Yeah, you just take a post-dosing nap. She does seem a little bit trippy. She'll just stare at something for a really, really long time. The other thing that's funny is we've always called Ginny our grumpy old lady. Oh, you don't like that? That's her signal. Ginny does not want to be touched. There's like no grumpiness right now. None. This morning, I pet her and snuggled with her and I was hugging her and I just was having my way with her. You gonna do the belly rubs? Some belly rubs? Oh my, that's right. Get the belly rubs. And I could have kept going, but I had to get dressed, get ready, get my daughter fed and get us to school. So I can only assume that whether it's from the steroid or the cannabis, that her body feels better. And the reason she would get grumpy with us for petting her for too long was because maybe it hurt her a little bit. Maybe because her body wasn't feeling so great. I realize now that I have been kind of taking Ginny's old age for granted. And now that I know that we may lose her in the very near future, though I hope that we don't, I really do feel like every moment is a gift and I'm really grateful for it. I feel so lucky that I'm not working right now and I can spend lots of time with her and give her the best care possible. By the way, the reason I'm not sobbing while I describe all of this is because during the day, I feel proactive and more in control and perhaps in total denial. And then at night, when it's just me and Ginny on the couch, snuggling with the Afghan. You can get comfy. I'm gonna watch a little more West Wing, okay? Good yawn. That's when it hits me. This experience has made me realize that we've been really lucky with Ginny. We're lucky that she's 13 years old. And really, there's no way to know when you're gonna lose your best friend. There's no way to know 
when any of us are going to go. If you have a dog, if you have a cat, if you have a hamster, show them some love today. Who's a pretty girl? You the pretty girl? Hey, so soft. Yeah. You're so soft. You're so soft.